Hello, everybody, and welcome once again to another episode of Fear and Hunger Termina. We still have a lot to explore in this game, so let's get started. I think this time we're going to go with the ex-soldier, because in the game there's been a lot of stuff about Bremen army. Like, specifically with Abella, we're actually looking to subvert the Bremen army, and this is an ex-soldier who's dressed in, I think, the same uniform as the Bremen army. So I'm curious if he's supposed to be an escaped soldier or something, and I'm also curious if he starts with a gun. So without further ado, let's get started. His name is <laughs> Levi. Skip the character history? No, absolutely not. Rehaville, it's your hometown, even if it has a tainted past painted around its narrow alleyways. The painful memories would start from that one night. Your parents were arguing downstairs. Oh man, this is getting too real. Your argument would heat up, like always, and would turn into a fight. Your mother charged inside your room in desperation. She locked the door and pushed it with all her might. First, the odor of old vodka carried over to your room. Then you heard your father's heavy footsteps walk up the stairs. Your father started bashing down the door. Um, we can pray for God or stand up against our father. Without getting too personal here, we're, we're gonna stand up against our father. Your efforts didn't matter much before the drunken stupor of your father. It did raise your maximum bodily resistance though. Okay, so I got extra bodily resistance from that. I guess from taking a beating? That is, that is incredibly dark. With your mother gone and your father drinking in the gutter, oh no, we've lost our mom. You were taken to the Preheville Orphanage. The place treated children awfully and all kinds of rumors circulated on why children would disappear occasionally without a trace. Just a side note here, I remember in the dream sequence in the first game, in the Kingdom of Rondon, we noticed that a lot of children were disappearing without a trace, and it was because of Pocket Cat. So I'm curious if this is also because of Pocket Cat. You couldn't wait to get out of there as soon as possible. Unfortunately, your wishes were answered sooner than you could have guessed. When the Second Great War started, the Eastern Union recruited every able-bodied person, no matter the age, to fight for the motherland. Oh, is he supposed to be, like, Russian? You were only 13 at the time, but they dragged you in with them. What kind of weaponry did you specialize in? Um, we're gonna go with, I think, rifles. Maybe pistols? I feel like rifles are more powerful, but maybe pistols you can find more ammo for? We're gonna do rifles. You got rifle 303 Mark One and 4303 ammo. You excelled on the battlefield despite your age. However, you grew bitter as you saw younger and younger kids being recruited and killed as the war dragged on. Man, that would make me bitter too. By this time, you were already responsible for your own squad of child soldiers. You were given a mission meant for expendables, one that would be a guaranteed suicide mission. You were already growing tired of the haphazard way of distributing troops and the general morale of the Eastern Union Army was starting to show its cracks. Oh man, I don't like either of these options. I think we want to abandon the sinking ship. How do we save the kids though? Like, how do we save the kids? Is there, there's, not, there's not an option to save the kids here. We could either take the mission and get all the kids killed or abandon the sinking ship and let the kids die alone. Like, all right, I'm not letting the kids die alone. We're going with it. You survived the mission despite impossible odds. This increased your proficiency in your branch of weaponry. You learned marksmanship. Okay. Unfortunately, the mission had its toll on you as well. Your psyche couldn't handle all the losses on the battlefield. That's, that's, that's what I was saying. Okay. You had to take opioids to ease the pain. You formed an addiction. Oh, no. Okay. You formed an addiction. You got heroin and withdrawal symptoms. Great. Wonderful. Or as hell. You couldn't stand up for this any longer and became a deserter. Uh, yeah. The Eastern Union wouldn't forgive such crimes, so you had to pack up wisely for your escape. Do we stock up on ammo, medical goods, or food? Let's just stock up on more ammo. We managed to find three 303 ammo. That is a that is a decently large caliber, I'm pretty sure. Let me let me look that up. I'm not super familiar with that. Yeah, 303 is basically like the almost the same size as 762. It's a little larger than that. Uh, for reference for how large that is, uh, most weapons these days are designed for unarmored combat and they use 5.56 ammo, but for armored combatants they actually increase the caliber to, uh, I think, 7.62. Uh, 
It's a larger round meant for more like armor piercing, like body armor piercing. And it also just does, I mean, it, it, it's a devastating caliber. Like you don't want to get hit with that thing. Uh, it's the same caliber that's in like AKs, I believe. Yeah, so 303 is slightly larger than AK ammo. How long has it been? Feels like a lifetime since you left the town. It's not a place anyone would want to return to, but when you got no other place in this world, you're left with no options. Save your character? Oh, that was a very short character history. Okay, sure. Alright, so this time we're not going to skip the intro. I remember last game skipping the intro was actually bad. Because you just got like random skills and abilities. And I'm curious if I can actually do something here. So there's that little girl, but that's not... I don't think I've ever seen her before. Oh, and I can't... Oh, I can't sprint because I can't run and gun, can I? Oh, I guess I, can, I just can't sprint in the dream sequence. Okay, so we're going to equip the rifle 303. Magazine-fed repeating rifle. The most common used rifle in the great in the First Great War. All right, so let's equip our rifle. It's a bolt-action, magazine-fed repeating rifle. The most common used rifle in the First Great War. Okay, so this is basically like a M1 Garand. I wonder if it'll make the, the little clinking sound whenever I finish a clip. That'd be fun. We got an army jumpsuit and not much else. Oh yeah, I started with an addiction. Yeah, just start with an addiction. You check the functionality of your rifle without even thinking about it. Your old habits are kicking in. The rifle creates a familiar feeling of safety. You wonder if you'll ever be able to leave that past behind. Got makeshift armor. Oh, wow. <laughs> a makeshift armor made from random kitchenware. The breastplate is an old stove lid. Desperate times breed creativity. Slash 68%, pierce 69%, nice. Blunt 79%, fire 95%. Well, I would hope so, it's kitchenware. All right, well, we got some really nice armor off the bat. I just got to be careful not to run and gun. He does kind of look like a badass carrying that rifle around. You, I've been looking for you everywhere. Just where did you run off to? Do we want to fight him? Let's stay quiet. Obedience is the key. That's the only way we'll be able to meet the quotas. Now back to your workbench. This is your last chance. Next time it's punishing time. Uh, I guess we stay silent? Get busy, we've got a tight deadline. If we don't make it, I'll have to make the next batch of cubes out of your back skin. Oh, jeez. Okay. Uh, what you googling at? There's nothing to see here. Eyes on the cubes. Okay, so I guess we're making cubes. The girl in pink is trying to get your attention. What, what, is she telling us she's gay? I don't... Why are you gay? What was that arm? Can I return to work? No. Okay. Where do you think you're going? Can I... Nice. <laughs> nice. No reaction. The janitor seems dead by all measures. Wow, that was uh Kassara. What is that? Oh, it's a, like a weapon. Whatever. We don't care about that. So I killed the janitor. Is there nobody else? Well, we I mean we killed the janitor. Like there's nothing holding us back now. Can I talk to the girl? Where'd she go though? All right, well, she's gone. Let's go. Let's see. Does he have any new dialogue? Maybe? Yeah, no new dialogue. So you got to keep the weapon. That's neat. I wonder if I should shoot him. This is America. That didn't do anything. Apparently, I can't shoot him. Karen still is talking about the Bremen pig. So I guess I'm not the Bremen pig. Well, that answers one question I had, at least. I feel like starting out with a rifle is, like, incredibly overpowered. But maybe that's just me. So I know this is one of the ritual circles, but I don't remember which one. Is that the old gods? I'm going to have to put some text on screen to tell you exactly which circle that is. Because I don't remember exactly which circles are which. But I know that's one of the circles that I ran into. Let's continue on. There's a There's a ladder up there. I wonder if I can get up there and, like, take the ladder. Probably not. 
Ooh, you know what I'm gonna do with the gun? There are a couple things that I wanna do with the gun. First of all, I wanna get rid of the dogs and explore that area more thoroughly. Shut up the arm. Headshot. Cool. I found a basement key and an axe. Okay, we're gonna equip the Kasara going forward because I'm out of ammo. All right, so this place, there wasn't much loot I remember, but I do remember very distinctly there was this thing. So let's open it and see what's inside. Boy. All right, so there's more loot and the only way out is this passage covered in blood. Oh. So this looks like two circles on top of one another. These are candles left here to boost the effects of the ritual circle. Hey, There's something written here, but it's all the nonsensical gramblings of a crazy person. Uh, is this the crazy person? She's dead. Hey, let's investigate her. She's been dead for a while now. Her head's been bashed with something and her wrists are cut open. You can't tell which one led to her demise. She doesn't seem to have anything valuable. Except for that paper. A note here has been written with blood. I'll reunite with my lover on the other side. Oh. There's a ritual circle carved here. You could draw something with chalk. I don't have anything to write on right now. Alright, was that it? I guess that was it. Let's go upstairs and see if we can find uh, one of the skin bibles. Tale of Pocket Cat. That's that's not a Bible. All right. Cool. So we basically got nothing. All right. Moving on. So yeah, this is the laboratory. And what were we looking for? We need like two keys, right? Okay, so he threw out a bear trap, so I think my only option really is to run, unless I want to lose a leg. Cool. Psych! I'm gonna rev up, and then attack the body. Sh shoot. Okay, we're gonna attack the body again, and hopefully not get hit by the bear trap. Alright, perfect. So he didn't take off a limb, but he left me bleeding and infected. Luckily we have like a bajillion green herbs. Yeah, we don't have anything to heal bleeding. That sucks. Just when they thought I was out, they pulled me back in. I found moldy bread. All right. I feel like attacking the villagers isn't gonna do much. They don't seem to have anything. I'm about to end this man's whole career. Mission failed. We'll get him next time. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. All right. I guess the pigs were hungry, huh? Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. All right, this time we're going to equip the gun and we're going to go after the dogs. Headshot. Burn, <laughs> baby. Ooh, there's a truck. There's this little path up here. Oh. Oh. <sighs> Awaken. From my slumber, is it time yet? What nuisance? I wait for Vinushka. Do not wake me again, worm. Okay, that was weird. Some mushrooms over here. And there are all these little like hidden passageways. All right, and then we have a military compound. Or at least what appears to be a military compound. Maybe it's like a jail. 
I guess it's not. There's just like a bunker thing in the back. Uh, an old rusty hatch. That's that's the word I'm looking for. The smell of rot stinks immediately upon opening the hatch. And there's a Bella. How about we hop in and see what's under there? Yeah. You have to be at least a little bit curious. Yeah, let's check it out. Wow, this place is incredible. I heard the Eastern Union had a big underground networks. A big underground networks. Okay. Around Preville, but I wasn't expecting this. Uh, yeah, it's quite something. This is exciting. Let's go deeper. All right. Now, is that a typo or is she supposed to be from Old Guard? She is supposed to be from Old Guard, isn't she? I think. I don't know. We haven't even introduced ourselves yet, have we? I'm Abella. Nice to meet you. You don't get to say a word, but I'll be traveling with you for a while now. You're more than welcome. Yeah. So she's got a pipe wrench, sturdy overalls, and nothing else. She knows short circuit and wrench toss. Okay, that's pretty pretty useful. All right, so do we go right or left first? That's the question. I guess we'll go left. The treasure chest. Found a soul devourer necklace. Does that do anything for us? Decks against otherworldly powers. I mean, I guess. Might as well equip it, right? Found a pressure plate and duct tape and a gasoline canister. All right, guess that's all that's here. Why am I expecting something to jump out at me? Okay, so I could keep going right or I could go up. Guess I wanna go up. Does this just circle around? I don't even know. Okay, so that does loop around. Grab a broomstick. And that door opens. Is that Tanaka's hat? Gives you a giggle. Oh boy. Uh, so I was right that it was Tanaka's hat. This this guy reminds me of somebody. He reminds me of a lot of somebody's. Freddy Krueger, I guess? So he's got a right arm and a left arm. That left arm looks menacing. Let's hit him in the torso, see if we can stun him. Oh, that's a lot of damage! Ouch. Got a mystery injection. Okay, Abella's almost dead. I think what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to rev up and then get rid of that arm. And then Abella can use the blue liquid on herself. And maybe she'll survive. She won't survive. She's dead. Surprise, motherfucker! Oh! Great! <laughs> what wonderful! Perfect. Perfect. Wonderful. Great. Awesome. Amazing. His right arm's down, so he pulls out a fucking gun. <laughs> he looks so goofy with it, too. Like, let's just go for a headshot. What? Alright, so we won, but at what cost? Here lies Abella. Let's search him. Three syringes of heroin. Oh, great. I get to feed my, my drug addiction. The body of Needles feels muscular and tense even after his apparent death. Alright, what am I supposed to do about this poison, though? I found a Bremen chest plate. Let's... what does that do? Armor has engravings of a Bremen eagle. Okay, cool. Alright, so 0 out of 10. Would not recommend. Cool, that goes back the way we came. I did find bolt cutters and a bolt and a C ration. Another gasoline canister. I mean, there's tons of supplies. Like, I'm not going to complain about the supplies, but there's no electricity. I'm pretty sure, like, maybe Abella could figure out what's going on there. 
An emergency backup generator. Seems like it's been in use recently, but now it's out of gasoline. We'll pour gasoline into the tank. Both gasoline canisters. We needed two of them. Okay, so now the power's on. What can we do? There's no power in this panel. It seems like the backup generators power something else. Cool. What do they power? Can I do that trick? I guess not. Let's just run. You want a piece of me, shit, boy? Shit, shit, shit. I'm going to kill you and then kill you again. I'm dead. All right, well, moving on. There's a bitch that's stalking you. Hey, stalker, come here. I got a question for you. Okay, moving on. All right, so Dan's not here this time, and I'm not sure what that means, but I think last time I went over here and then went back, and that's what spawned him. And he's still not there. All right, I guess we're, ooh, uh, I guess we're going back to talk to Dan, and then we're gonna make our way back. But not before a firefight. Okay. Do you wanna play with to my new friend. Nice. We spent one ammo to get two ammo. And now this area is cleared and we can go back and forth without worrying about anything. Okay, so everybody's gone from the train. All right, I guess we're just gonna casually head back and then see if Dan's there. And he's not there, okay. Okay, I remember the whole village was worthless. Hello there. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let's see who he wants. He wants the woodsman, and then he wants the priest. I've met the woodsman. I have not met the priest. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, I didn't mean to do that, but okay. All right, so we got a couple options. We can explore the sewers. Or we can try and move on that town. Guess we might as well explore the sewers. Hmm. Okay, so we need a Bella to come down here. Well, that's one path scratched off. There's nothing to do on the other side. So I guess we're going in here. Okay, I have four bullets. Which is not nearly enough to... fight all these guys. So I guess we're gonna have to fight these guys with a knife. I still don't know what the state is, but I'm gonna use it. <sighs> Numb from all pain and horror. Okay, so it increases my mind to 100, I guess. Why don't I just try running? Does that work? It does. Neat. They don't seem to follow me indoors either. Headshot. Double kill. Okay, we're out of bullets. Put the knife. Move on. There are so many dudes in here. Okay. I am obviously being hunted. Alright, well here we go. Shoot. Mm. Alright, this guy just won't go down. What's he got, like 800 hit points? Why did that seem so easy the other time? So there's been three of them so far. Nothing on the shelf, get a lucky coin. Got more ammo. That's useful. Okay, so there was nothing down here, really. And it dumps me out here. Let's see what that small key was. Rusty worn out key. Okay, well, I can't run, so I have the rifle with me. And this is just the other side of the thing, right? Door is locked. We use the small key. 
Dude, did I just use up the small key? I did. I don't have it anymore. And then there's Pigman. I shot his arm off. And he can still spray without the other arm. Neat. Alright, I think I'm just dead here. Yep. Alright, I really don't know what to do anymore. I'm clearly missing something. So, I talked with a couple people. Some people are going out on their own, right? I think Mr. Tanaka just roamed out on his own. Um, but clearly you have Olivia, is that her name? Yeah. So, Olivia, there's some other woman, and then Marco all stay at the train. And then August seems really nice, but then he jumps over the fence? Okay, so if, you, if we talk to August, and we say it's a bit foggy, and then say we find it eerie, he says, do no fret. I'm sure if you stay at the train, it'll be all right. So I think maybe this is giving us like a hint that we need to sleep in the train to progress things. Like we can do stuff day one, but none of that matters. In that case, here's what we're going to do. We're going to we're gonna go to the woodsman area, and then we're going to fire at the dogs. We're going to use two bullets since they die in one bullet each. And then we're going to grab what's-her-face. We're going to grab a Bella. Yeah, so blah, blah, blah. Termina Festival. That guy dies. Cool. We're going to just go to the left and ignore them since we don't need to fight. And we're going to go up here, past the dead horse. We're gonna look left. All right, we need to remember that only one of the dogs is down. Maybe we'll get something out of this guy. We're gonna say it is time. That did nothing. <laughs> okay, well, it's kind of fun looking. It's worth a shot. All right, we're back with Abella. If I remember correctly, there was only one enemy in this whole area, and it was that Needles guy. So as long as we avoid him, we should be fine, right? Actually, speaking of that, let me put on my knife so that way I can actually run. Oh, that's right. We need to restore power somehow. Wasn't there a gas canister up here? Yeah, right there. Okay. So we need to secure both gas canisters. I think I see what we need to do. So that door's locked, right? So we're going to keep going. And then when we run into needles, we need to run directly south after we restore the power. Run. Let's get the hell out of here. All right, so now we have the power and we got a partner. It's a really pathetic dog now. If we have to face the huntsman, we can now, I guess. I'm just gonna kind of run past him. Actually, you know, there's, there's some interesting loot in the house. So why don't we do that first? We have the book drop, we got Alchemelia volume two. So you make white vials, yellow vials, and black vials. All right, moment of truth. Did he run away? Nope, we might have to, nope. Now we can safely run back. I have a couple thoughts about Tanaka. So Tanaka doesn't seem to do anything and doesn't seem to be of benefit. So I wonder if we could kill him early and take some of his stuff. Okay. So, Abella's back on the train now. I wonder if I can get Dan on the train. Or is that too greedy? How many bullets do I have? Set. Well, I guess I have six now. Let's try and figure out what Dan's doing. We can grab some loot, and then we're gonna run up and see if Dan's there. If Dan's not there, then we're heading directly back. But if he is there, love to have a chat. He is not there. I wonder if Dan's only there if Abella spawns, or if, to, if I have to do something else, maybe. I could also potentially investigate the sewer, but I don't feel like doing that right this second. Let's call it a day and see what day two brings. Oh, wow. Okay, that's new. Okay, let's... Drop a save. And then, is there anything I can discover from the Hexen? If executioner. That's it. Okay. Uh, I did just save, so let's do something really, really dumb. Let's attack everybody. Are you sure about that? You fool. You absolute buffoon. 
You think you can challenge me in my own realm? You think you can rebel against my authority? You dare come into my house and upturn my dining chairs and spill coffee grounds in my Keurig? <laughs> okay, that didn't go very well. Let's try attacking Abella, maybe? No. So all of the other contestants are stronger than I am. Good to know, I guess. So I guess I'm supposed to get creative with how I kill everybody else. I guess I don't have to kill them. I can just get them killed. But that means I saved Bella, which is not great. Actually, come to think of it, if I have everybody in my party, that means I can get them killed off, right? I mean, I don't even know if we want to win this stupid festival. Maybe it's better if we don't. There he is. Okay, so I guess it has to be day two. So now we have a proper party of three. Okay, maybe we don't have a proper party. We have kind of a temporary party of three. Dan wants us to avoid confrontation. So let's do that as much as possible. Apparently when you look at the full moon, it turns you into a moon scorched. Apparently they also want to die. Okay, I still don't have many leads. So I guess I'm gonna just continue on the next day. And we'll see what day three has in store. Oh. What's this? It's dark now. I guess let's see if Dan found what he was looking for. Cause I can't really think of what else to do. You know, they're just the same. What the hell? Oh. Okay, where did I come from? I came from down there. Okay. This is a two-story house. What's that sound? Chair fell over on its own. Is this infested with ghosts? This is set up exactly the same way as the other houses. Written in blood, arm yourself the festival of Termina. The festival of blood is upon us. Take the rifle on the wall? Yeah. Okay, why do I feel like that's so ominous? Probably quit my gun. I got five bullets. Ooh, that gate's open. All right. Well, I'll say one thing. Being armed with a gun in this game uh, feels pretty realistic. I feel powerful and invincible, even though I'm very, very much not. There's a towering waiter greeting here. Good afternoon, mister. His name is Jeeves. From what I understand, you're a newcomer to this town, no? We just got a new mayor out to the old town. I'm sure he's thrilled to start his business immediately by greeting the newcomers. Please, he's waiting at the dining room. Um, okay. It would be advised not to mention the master's antlers, for example. It's, he's not talking about... Let's... Let's not open stuff in the house with the dude standing there. Is this a ritual room? Why is that static noise getting louder? On the tail of Pocket Cat and Mahavra... 15th Century Cooking, and Skin Bible, The Chapters of Almer. That is a useful book. All right, what do I want to read first? I guess I'll use Mahavra. Okay, that's the same book as in the first game. That's a little disappointing. Recipes of the 15th Century, Volume 2. The recipes are collected from the memoirs of the infamous Chef Anders, who worked at the Royal Kitchen of Rondon at the time. It appears that Chef Anders had a serious rivalry with the previous royal chef, Alexej, the rivalry escalated to the murder of the latter, after which Chef Anders created a royal feast out of his remains in all secrecy. 
That's uh that's a line. Now that you look at it, the book seems to be more about royal gossip than food recipes. Between all this murder and betrayal, you find recipes for Chef Anders' famous goulash and mushroom stew. Neat. As your critique, the Midnight Gazette, September 17th, 1942. The formation of the marching men on night's day marked the day Europa officially jumped the shark. Jumped the shark is a rather modern reference for these times. One, two, three, four. 4 a.m.? There are conflicting stories as to whether the Bremen army has truly succumbed to the horrors and rumors speak of. But it is clear as day that something vile is brewing under that black and yellow banner of the Kaiser's Bremen. Especially the campaigns that took place in the area of Bohemia. Kaiser pursued this area with such vigor that it was without question his endgame. It is hardly a coincidence that Kaiser is opening up the talks about the peace treaty right after his Bremen pig occupy Prehevel, the capital of Bohemia. The Kingdom of Rondon and allied forces suspect that this whole Bremen ambition is directly linked to the advanced electronic network experiments the Eastern Union has been conducting in the area. It is beyond me how the masses fail to see through these plans. Instead, they give credence to the Kaiser's madness and place more trust in his perversions than logic. There are no rational answers to the irrational ideologies which Kaiser brings to the table. An article written by Karen S Oh, so it was written by Karen. Um, so we want to open the lock. Might as well, right? Find arm guards. Book of fears. Looks like somebody violently vomited their guts out here and missed the tray. At least that's what it looks like. Okay, so I guess he doesn't care if we snoop. It's good to know. Okay. You got this pinhead looking guy over here. Okay. Is he a priest? He is a priest. Okay. I recognize the, the little Catholic neck thing that he's got going on. The decrepit priest gives a wide sadistic grin. Okay, we're just gonna go straight for the torso here. Any cast hurt him? Tails never fails. Ooh. I lost my left arm. This is not good. This is decidedly not good. Ooh. Found a soul stone. Alright, this area leads to more mystery. Is that stairwell or what is that? The manor key, I got leather armor. The roots push through the ceiling. You could use them to climb down. I don't know if I want to climb down. Why is this house so big? Weren't we having dinner with the one dude? Oh, that's, that, that is a large something. Okay, let's, let's sit down and have dinner. Newcomer, isn't it peaceful here? I'm glad to see you're not a complete loony yet, unlike those others. You saw those people, didn't you? One can only wonder what happened to the folks around these parts. They've drifted far from humanity. Only thing they seem to be interested in is scavenging the scraps around the old town. I might have in-depth discussions with them. I want to talk about poetry, music, and culinary arts. I was told specifically not to mention his horns, so I'm just going to ask what happened. We're in the same boat, my friend. I don't have the answers. I heard the Bremen military meddled with something. Some say the moonlight scorched this earth into something unrecognizable. And the town folks say it's always been this way. Newcomer, you haven't touched the food yet. These are rare delicacies you can only find in Prehville. What, the rotten meat? I've traveled from afar just to experience them. Take these, for example. Don't they look absolutely delicious? Use your imagination. Food can be as inspiring as the highest form of painted art or the most complicated music arrangements. What comes to your mind when you look at these dangling beauties? Is that slices from a leg? That looks like the cross-section of a thigh, like a, like a human thigh. I'm going to say kidneys, but that's not correct. I understand where you're coming from, but you don't need to look at them so literally. So there are kidneys. What about this little squirmy thing? What comes to your mind? 
uh, this one. I dare not say. Oh, but I insist. Local sausage. In a way, yes. It requires extraordinary amounts of time to cook. However, boil it for too long and it will be too chewy. That's... That's not... That's what they say about octopus. This peculiar fungus. What's the first thing that comes to your mind? Is that a fungus? Rainy day? You can still smell the damp forest floor. Mm, I don't know about you, but I'm full. I thank you for the company. From what I understand, you are needed in the city. I do have the key. However, I have one last question. Do you support the Bremen army? Are you a man of Kaiser, so to speak? Okay. So we have to... So he's going to give me one key. I need two. So this is how we get one of the keys. I figured that much out. I really don't want to swear loyalty to the Nazis. Sorry, the Bremen army. I don't want to swear loyalty to the Bremen army. I'm just going to answer honestly. You have my support. Oh, okay. That, that was a trick question then. Here, the key is yours. You get the lion brass key. The other key is with the army, I'm afraid. Please be discreet. I don't wish to start trouble with the Kaiser. Don't mention my part in this. I could attack him. That seems like a terrible idea. What's she doing here? There's Marina. Okay. What are you doing here? Oh, you know, just hanging around in a locked room, being all kidnapped and stuff. Who locked you in here? The so-called mayor of the old town. But you know, that's just bullshit. He's a newcomer just as we. Something very messed up has happened to him. Obviously. Something very messed up has happened to everyone in this town. Thanks. Thanks, Captain Obvious. I don't get it. This is my hometown. This is also uh, Levi's hometown. It surely wasn't this bad when I last saw the place. It's always had its fair share of creeps and religious zealots, but this is a new high. Or a new low, however you want to put it. I think it's time to pack our bags for good. Do you mind if I stick with you for now? Not at all. Okay, so she comes with a knife and a colored blouse. Army jumpsuit is better for her. And in terms of skills, she has pyromancy trick and engrave. Engrave a sigil on a party member. The benefit of the sigil varies depending on the god it belongs to. Historically, sigils were carved on the body, but modern practition prefers face sigils. So I mark it on my face? What, is, what does that do? Might as well find out. Let's, uh, let's read Almer's skin bible. Almer the Ascended One, one of the two human-born gods known to this day. There are two stories of the origin of Almer. The more common story speaks of a human born from a virgin mother, a mere mortal that had humble beginnings, but one that quickly rose to prominence because of his teachings. Unlike the warring kings and sultans of the time, Almer's ideal world united people of all different religions and ideologies under one umbrella. The powers of the time wouldn't stand up for this, and quickly had him arrested and sentenced for public humiliation and eventual death on a cross. This only served Almer's purpose, making him a martyr, and the pain he went through pushed him through over the edge to ascension to the true godhood. After his ascension, Almer returned to avenge his death. The bloodbath that ensued shook the world order and demolished the worship new gods at the time had been enjoying. The other version of Almer's origins tells how Sylvian, the older god of fertility, ordered a deity known as Vitruvia to create an archaeological repography of a man and a woman that would be the likeness of Sylvian herself. Vitruvia, being the master architect, did just that. Sylvian fell in love with the results. She went on and created the mankind according to Vitruvia's drawings. At first, Vitruvia was amazed by the life Sylvian managed to usher into her designs. However, over time, Vitruvia started to see small imperfections here and there. Nothing bothered her more than the idea that her designs were anything but perfect. So she set out to create the perfect human being, the pinnacle of a man's potential. This being was born on the year Nil, and he is the one known as Almar today. On the surface level, these stories don't contradict with themselves too much, but on an ideological level, there are interesting differences. The other story tells about how a mortal, everyday man rose to rival the power of the older gods, while the other story makes Almer just one more creation of the higher beings. The truth might lie somewhere in between these stories if you'd ask me. The mark of Almer raises the physical protection of its wielder. The text includes the sigil of Almer and the instructions on how to use it. Okay. I found the skin bible chapter of Rur. Only a chapter? 
Oh no, it just calls them chapters. I guess they're all chapters of the skin Bible. Very much like the sun, the moon is one of the primordial entities and thus it has lore and beliefs written since the dawn of time. Have I read this before? I think I have. Mark of Rur increases mind. Okay. Let's engrave the sigil of Rur. That sounded painful. Oh, he just has it on his face now. That's kind of creepy. Is she going to look like a psychopath now? Yeah, a little bit. Let's go investigate these roots. What the hell is that? Oh, I hear that in the background. It's like a heartbeat. Okay, there's a stairway up. And another stairway up. Found some chalk. Okay, so at this point, I, I just want to survive until I can go rest in a bed. It's like my main concern. Oh, shit. Forgot about those guys. Uh, I mean, can we take them? I guess we'll, we have to. We don't have a choice. We're going to have to fight our way out. Okay, can we get rid of the arms is the question. Yes, we can. 2303 ammo. Unfortunately, we can't use it. And he set up a bear trap. Great. Try and kill him in one go, I guess. Beautiful. I guess a good question would be, did I ever get rid of the rifle guy? Because I don't remember if I did. I think I've just been kind of running past him every time. And I also need to figure out how to explore the sewers at some point. Oh, okay. So I guess they, they all wait for me at the train. I can basically take any of these people, kind of. Uh, the curly-haired man says, we didn't get acquainted earlier. I'm Marco. This place, did you see the locals? Yeah, there's something very wrong with them. Almost as if something has possessed the villagers. A grunt attacked me without warning. I take care of myself, but even I had some trouble getting out of there. Wanna tag along? Oh, Marco's been helping Olivia out. Okay. Let's go see if I find the others. And now I guess I'll rest for a bit. So let's explore the Hexen. Surprisingly, nothing's changed. What symbol? I put the that symbol on my face, and there's no difference there. Okay, we're going to save in a different slot and then leave. And it's day... That's... Now it's day two. Under the Sulfur Sun. So I guess the days are split up into, like three parts, right? There's morning, afternoon, and night. And then Marina left. There's a ritual circle engraved here. You could draw something with chalk. What is that one? That one's the one of the perfect odds, right? So I could do Almer? Uh, I think it's Almer. Because it's the perfect circle, right? Your affinity with the Almer. Your affinity with the Almer. Oh, now we get a blood portal. That's pretty neat. Now it's daylight again. Uh, Olivia's out here. Are you still waiting at the train? Oh, should I ask her what condition it is? You just saved. I was 15 when I had a stroke caused by an abnormality around my spinal cord. Okay. Where are the others? Marco went out to check the city too, despite the dangers. He said he'd be back soon enough. So he's out exploring the city now. I really know. I know it's now it's the real day too. I'm not really sure what to expect, but we're already low on supplies and we're not doing great. That's the imperfect circle representing the imbalance of gods. Right? So Rur works here? Yeah, there we go. Oh. Okay, that was not a blood portal. I mold the clay. 
Made an idol of myself. A few moments later. Okay, does that do anything? No, I guess we're exploring. Okay, that goes suspiciously far. Okay, that's super weird. But now I'm excited to find all of the other sigils. Do I still have chalk? Yeah. I do still have chalk. Okay. I guess maybe we only need one chalk for everything. Okay. Let's get rid of that right arm. So fast. Get rid of the appendage. Ouch. Okay. He's dead. Search him. We got the basement key and his hatchet. Let's saw off his head. Because I know somebody who wants his head. Guess I'm using my last two blue herbs. Well. Ooh, I can give the goat a carrot. Goat eats the carrot without any festivities. It still doesn't acknowledge your existence. Can I pet it? Absolutely no reaction. I'll give it another carrot. Then another carrot? No, it just eats carrots. Okay, whatever. Wasn't there a ritual circle here? We're gonna find out. So let's let's draw the sigil of Roar. Find out what happens. Oh, the, okay. This is different. Is this? This couldn't be the prison area, could it? With the janitors? Somehow I feel like Rur is still playing tricks on me. Oh! There's a very mysterious man in black. Another one heeds my call. Just remember that you came to me, not vice versa. Tell me, oh naive one, do you believe in the pitch black darkness? <laughs> I believe in a thing called love. Um, yeah. Truly, the true darkness is a rare gift. The saying goes, there is no light without casting a shadow. Good on one hand and evil on the other. Good can come from bad places, just as bad can come from the good. A constant struggle. A game, even. That is how it is meant to be. That is how it was. A man listened to his spirit so that you could tarnish that spirit so easily. But it wasn't to last. Then people started to worship a new god, the god called The Science. Suddenly everything needed to be calculated. There is no good or evil behind the scope. Maybe my time has come to lend a sword once again. I will aid you on your quest. See you soon. Still feel like it's playing tricks on me. Oh, it's like a parallel of this area. I mean, not really. It's it's kind of messed up. That was a weird coincidence. All right, let's let's uh, carry on. The lone goat came to greet you. It seems to be following you even more attentively. <laughs> Want to join my party? It's shaking its horns in agreement. It joins my party. Is that because it gave it carrots? Black Kalev. It must be like old English or something. It has no skills. Obviously, it can't equip anything. Well, I have a goat in my party now. Um, how about we run from all of that? God, oh my god, oh my god. Neat, okay. The basement seems damp and dark from up here as if something lurks down there waiting for you. Okay, let's go down. Give an offering. You have three severed heads. Do I want to sacrifice them all? No. Don't offer the woodsman. I'll offer the moon scorched. The air cools down and becomes thicker. It feels heavy just to breathe. The tainted one rises slowly from the pool of blood. Unbearable existence. The suffering, the agony. We play the secret song that echoes from within. The sound like razors through flesh. Can you hear it? Yes, 
you can hear my voice after all. You who came with the offering, ask and thou shalt receive. You receive a soul stone shard. O oh, explorer of the further regions, farewell. Can I keep giving offerings? The tainted one rises again. Okay. So if I have three, I can make a soul stone. Neat. All right, let's see if, well, I guess first let's go to this guy and give him the severed head that he wants. Okay, so we got the woodsman head. And I guess I need to give him the head of the priest or he's not gonna give me anything. So it's double or nothing. Okay, and let's see what Dan and uh, Karen were working on. Are they even here? Were they here? All right, I guess they're gone. Maybe they're like further in. Yeah, I mean, they're definitely gone. Shit. Shit. Oh, it's it's locked? Wait, did I only get there through lock picking before? Okay, so now I really don't know where to go. Suddenly, Black Kalev stops on its hooves. It's just eating? Guess we could all use a small break. But I'm just gonna wait for him to finish. One eternity later. This is what I've been reduced to. I am waiting for a goat to finish eating. Well. So much for that idea. Alright, uh, here's another idea. Let's jump down. And then yell for help. We're yelling, we're yelling, we're yelling. All right, on second thought, uh, this was a horrible idea, and now there's no way out. Well, that's unfortunate. You know, in situations like these, there's really only one thing to do. All right, well, thank you so much for watching. Uh, tune in next time to see where things go from here.